Welcome back. Yeah. We're the Bourbon Junkies. He's Dan, oh. I'm Sean, and tonight, I think I just get sad. And the new toasted on the market. Basil Hayden Toast, is that what this is called? Yeah. Basil Hayden Toast. Beautiful color on the whiskey. You think it's pre-burnt? Um, I'm hoping it's like a nice medium burnt. Hot drink and all that. Gonna like let that. it breathe. I'm good. <laughs> we got this bottle here today. We do. It was donated by one Sir Gary Frank. It was gifted by the Franchi. Dan tried to buy it apparently. I tried to pay and for he it. Said nay. Francie said, "You know what? This one's on me, boys." So, normally one. we aren't humongous Basil Hayden fans due to a relatively high price tag for the, the proof. You got spider webs on that bottle, and actually, the spider is still there. It He's is just hanging out. It's there. dead, but it's there. Dan used our dark rye to spread caulk one time, so that's sealed forever in I a day. I didn't have a caulk gun. Yeah. So I used the top of that basil in dark rye. Yeah. You got to use the tools you have available to you. So this basil Hayden, I just learned something about it. Are you ready? Go ahead. So Neutral this green is, spirit is, is added in this? No, it's not. It's not. So this is basil Hayden is 80 proof like all the other basil Hayden, but under the Jim Beam profile, this whiskey, obviously put in a toasted barrel. That's uh, apparently the, they toast the barrel and then flash char it. Yep. Which I didn't know they flash charred it, but anyways, they flash try it. This is the interesting part. This okay. is a new mash bill for Basil Hayden. Okay. It smells like marshmallows embedded in corn dust. With a tequila fire underneath it. Oh, interesting, okay. Like raw alcohol, you know what I mean? It does have some of that vanilla citrus on mm -hmm. there. It tastes like a Jim Beam product. It tastes a lot like a Jim Beam product. Oh, wow. I was, oh, wow. That's really easy to drink. That is not my jam. That is crushable. Not in a good way, but it's crushable. Honey roasted peanuts. 80 proof? I'm gonna be honest. That goes down nice and smooth, real soft. Maybe the second drink will be better. Um, First one wasn't so great. There's a lot of vanilla, but there's a lot of peanuts. It's honey roasted peanut. Dude. I get less honey. Vanilla roasted peanuts. Okay. <laughs> so here's the weird part about it. Oh, it's so peanutty. This is the part I just learned that's the most interesting to me. Mm -hmm. It doesn't have rye in the mash bill. It has brown rice in the mash bill instead of rye. That's like the uh, the little book that they did. That was uh, three or four. Oh my gosh, yeah, that's true. Brown rice. I wonder if it's the same mash bill as that then. Might be four. Might literally be the same mash bill. Oh, I didn't think I about that being the little book. What, number four, yeah. Okay, I gave, um, I gave it two tries. Okay, so. For, second try, just as bad as the first. So nice, quick, easy review on this one, $50 bottle. It's like drinking a cheese grater. <laughs> it physically hurts me. <laughs> it's not, here's the thing. If you like Jim Beam White Label, I think you probably enjoy this. Can I tell you the problem? That's 50 bucks. And the White Label is like 15 or something like that. On their site, it talks about a bunch of complexity and whatnot in this bottle. No. I wouldn't use the word complex. Who? I would use the word smooth on this bottle. It's a really good bottle to say smooth. Don't you think? You don't think so? It's a real smooth whiskey. If you like the Third profile. taste, better. Circus peanuts, those orange ones, gas station. Less harsh peanut on there. Dude, the first two drinks, all I could taste was like ethanol, out an 80 proofer, but like boozy peanuts. There's like a super sharp sweetness. Yep. I don't like. Brown rice. I'd imagine it's part of that. And maybe that's why it's so smooth. It's because there's no rye in the mash bill. It's not spicy at all. No. There's no spice to it. And disgusting. May maybe that's why. They do wild shit with these. Like the dark rye actually has port in it. Hear me out. They didn't make me pay $120 for their experimental. It, if you're a Jim Beam fan and you're a Basil Hayden that's fan. That's the only way. Then that's, you. I do think that this fits like their flavor profile, what they're going for. For me, this being $50 and 80 proof and having like, for me personally, zero complexity. It just is like, hey man, I really like to drink whiskey and you just pound a shit ton of it. That's your bottle kind of thing. What are you, the richest man on earth though? There's like a, a slight cane sugar about it. Yeah. Like a raw sugar beet, yeah, you know? I agree. Uh, but other than that, like. It's just really sweet. Yeah, it's just not my jam. Yeah. Hey, Franch, thanks for the bottle, buddy. Appreciate Shortest it. Shortest video ever. This will go on the wall behind us and then we'll blind it and say how much we love it. It's supposed to be 20 bucks. That's what will happen with this bottle. 
I think genuinely, if nope. you had this blind, nope. If you were a whiskey drinker and had this blind, I really think that you would say that this is a bottom shelf. We pour. write Jim Beam as soon as we taste it. Dant is a better bottle. That's Heaven Hill. I know, but it's like I'm saying a bottom shelf. Bottle. I would be butt chugging Dant before I ever <laughs> want to drink this again. <laughs> What's your grade? D. Fifty dollars. D minus. Old Forester 1920 in some states is fifty dollars. Yeah, but Old Forester 86 is like t free. Oh, 22, yeah. And it's so much better than that. And it's more complex. 1792, eight and sand. Every Cooper's Craft hundred. <laughs> yeah, oh for sure. That's like forty though. You know what I drink? Oh, without a doubt, I'm in on that. <laughs> Dickel, that's thirty. Dickel eight bourbon. And that's thirty dollars. Oh, sweet baby Jesus, <laughs> sing to me. I give this a D minus. Uh, the price is too high for what they're providing. I do think that if they lowered the price tag on this, they could have, you know, it would have a better grade, but. I didn't think anything would make this taste better than. That's we, good though. Oh, try it out. It's fantastic. We like this whiskey. That basically is Old Forester President's <laughs> Choice after drinking the Basil Hayden Toast. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. We're the Bourbon Junkies, the proof's in the floor. Get me out of here. Final thoughts? Oh, great. <laughs>